How you doing, London? Man, everything is everything. How you doing, my brother? I'm out here on the road, man, but couldn't catch up with you in New York, but uh, I'm glad I got to catch up. Well, we well, we did catch up at the at the event. Yeah. But, but look, been a, been a fan of yours since, since Ballers. You was on there with my with my boy JD, and I uh, really uh liked your, your your character there, and and love what you're doing with this with this character Marvin. Um, with, with such multi talents. I mean, you're a dancer. You do stand up. Like how how does this show like tap into all the all the your, your, your talents that you've been craft you know crafting over the years. You know what? Uh, what's really dope about this show is that I got to give it up to um, the creator of the show, uh, Sasha Penn, and the fact that he even listens. You know, because sometimes you get on the show and they just they have sometimes they have these characters. The writers have these characters locked in, but they've always been really cool with with my suggestions, my improv, and just where I wanted to go. So that really helps, man, because I'm like, I know that these opportunities don't come uh, back to back, you know, especially coming from HBO and then going over to the next series. So it's important that I, I got to ring out everything. So out of, out of these opportunities, so because I don't know who's going to see what and what which one of my scenes going to land on the screen of a producer or director or the next writer. So I, I don't waste time, man. I, I, I take this stuff very seriously and try to always, you know, give a hundred to each stuff, to, to every scene, man. I got to ask, you, you and uh, Haley Kilgore's character, Jukebox, um, relationship is definitely strained. And I, and I wonder, we've all seen kind of where Jukebox story goes in, in the other parts of the Power Universe. Are, are, are we going to see some of that that character come out um, in this season um, through the writing? Um, you know, let me make sure I got you. You say, are, is, are we going to see Marvel come out as far as? I was, I was talking about with your, your, your relationship with Jukebox, we kind of know where her character goes as it appears in another uh, oh. power book later. And I wondered, like, if, uh, if through, like, the friction of our relationship, we're going to see some of those elements come out in her character uh, this season. I think, uh, I think that you will in the sense that people would have to connect the dots though like people don't just become don't just end up where they end up like there are events and experiences that people go through that lead them to where they ultimately become so if people connect the dots emotionally and and through the experiences of the you know the character and what they have to go through then they're going to see how they're going to see some of those elements tie into you know, raising canaan into the other series and so forth so there's there are dots to be connected emotionally for that. Your character's dealing with some anger management issues uh, in season one and season two, but you're 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 seeking help involuntarily this season. Uh, um, how do you deal with with anger management yourself? Like, how do you deal with like keep it cool when people get under your skin or whatever? Like, what's your techniques? Uh, one of the things I try to do that I'm always pushing my friends to do, I like to slow down and process. That's that's as far as the methodical approach to this. But the main thing is, I don't like looking out of sorts emotionally. I don't like, you know, even if I am flustered, I'm not gonna give you the power of even seeing that. I'm I'm way too chill for that. I, I, look, calmer looks more calmer looks cooler because cool looks in control. And I think a lot of people don't know this, so they think going loud and being you know, very um, vociferous about whatever it is they, they're trying to prove. I was like, man, just relax and just chill. You look way more, more posh and more together just making your point. You can always tell, again, the, the guy who's with his woman, and you can tell the woman who don't respect him. He up there yelling at her all in the car. It should be like, yo, hold on, sweetheart. Chill, we're going to talk about this later. That's that. We ain't got to be yelling at people. Nah. Cool is way better, man. Way better. Hi, Marvin. I'm Renee, the therapist who runs this class. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Miss Renee. <laughs> Where are you going, Marvin? You are signed in. I'm, I'm straight. You signed in, and now you go sit with the rest of the group for our first class. <laughs> Probably just a little misunderstanding. 
Um, my lawyer told me as long as I sign in, then I'm, I'm good. Good as in you can leave? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, your lawyer told you wrong, friend. Either you sit down in one of these chairs, or I can let the court know that you violated the terms of your probation, and they'll find another place for you to sit. And I can promise you that the spot the judge is going to find for you to sit won't be as comfortable as one of these chairs here. And last question, like uh, the stars universe uh, is like kind of like an MCU in itself with all the P Valley and star and, and powers and everything else. How do you interact with the, the fans that are like kind of so rabid into these shows and like always interact every time episode come out? Do you uh, get off social media and interact with them at all? I'm very uh, interactive with my followers in social media. I, I retweet. I'm always going live. I answer lots of questions. I repost pictures. I run into people on the street and so forth. Um, because I know what it feels like to want to be seen and heard. You know, um, um, shout out to my, my, my guy, Robert Glasper. I mean, when I first met him, he, he made me feel heard. And I know what that feels like. He's only one person, but a lot of times, you know, when, when people run into celebrities and they're acting funny, Hollywood didn't do that. They was that usually before they got there. So I'm just very appreciative of people. And I try to give them that energy because I know what that feels like, you know? So um, I, I try to stay grounded in that way. Well, man, you a multi-talented talent, man. I just checked out one of your stand-ups online. And uh, I know you do the dance. And like I said, I've been watching your shows. Can't wait to see whichever screen, whichever role you play, man, you, you, you give authenticity to it. So keep doing your thing. We'll keep on cheering you on. 